first greet introduce and explain procedure to the patient first ask the patient to empty her bladder and place the patient in dorsal recumbent position place pillow under the head of the patient for comfort drape properly to maintain privacy then inspect for any tear or lesions on the abdomen which can be due to cesarean section or any other previous operations note for the presence of stria gravidarum linea nigra and diastasis recti if there is any warm hands by rubbing because cold hand can stimulate uterine contraction use the palm of your hand for palpation not the fingers now with the help of measuring tape measure the distance between the pubic symphysis till fundus which will corresponds to the fetal age Leopold's maneuver 1 is also called fundal grip. Stand to the side of the bed and face towards the upper part of the mother and then grasp the uterine fundus with both hands. Then identify what fetal pole occupies the fundus. The fetal head will be feel as firm, hard, nodular, round or palatable and movable whereas buttocks will be feel as softer and bulkier. While reporting it should be as LM1 cephalic or LM1 breech. Leopold's maneuver 2 is also called umbilical grip. Now again facing towards the upper part of the mother, grasp the abdomen with both hands. Determine which side is fetal back or small parts. The fetal back should be feel as hard, resistant and convex structure. Small parts will be feel as nodular or irregular. After finding the fetal back count the heart rate of the fetus with the help of stethoscope we will report this leopold's maneuver as lm2 fetal back left lm2 fetal back right leopold maneuver 3 is called polyx grip still facing towards the upper part of the mother now with the help of finger and thumb of the one hand grasp the lower portion of the abdomen just above the pubic symphysis now determine if the engagement of the presenting part has occurred or not if not engaged a movable body part will be felt just above the pubic symphysis this leopold's maneuver is reported as lm3 cephalic or lm3 breech if the fetal presenting part is not engaged leopold's maneuver 4 is also called pelvic grip now reverse the position or face towards the lower portion of the mother place one hand on the lower poles of the uterus just above the pubic symphysis now determine on which side is the cephalic prominence and correctly identifies the fetal attitude if the cephalic prominence is in the same side of the fetal small body parts we can say that the fetal head is flexed and if the cephalic prominence is in the same side of the fetal back we can say that the uh, fetal head is extended explain the findings to the patient and entertain the questions if the patient is having doubt and at last thanks the patient